hello friends so welcome back so in this video i'm going to show you that how you can turn on remote control feature in sccm okay so the default setting is applied on all user and device but custom setting can be configured that override the default setting so if we talk about a remote management make sure the firewall is enabled so first we'll try to take a remote session and troubleshoot why it's not working okay so i'm going to turn on my windows 10 pc one So guys, I have turned on my computer, which is a, we'll check a computer host name. Uh, it's Windows 10 PC one, okay. So now switch back to our SCCM server. Uh, the first condition that SCCM client should be installed on client computer after that that uh, this feature remote control will work and uh, we'll open this configuration manager So guys from workspace area we need to select a asset and compliance right click on device collection then create a device collection name it remote control okay click on browse select all the system Okay, next, rule, direct rule, next, from resources classes we need to select, so resources classes is a, a, resource, a system resource, attribute name name, then we need to add a percentage sign click next from here we need to select all those device and if you have a like a security group where you have add all the devices then you can select that also so now we need to work with this uh, windows 10 pc1 so select the device click next next and close again next then next then close okay <coughs> now from a workspace area we need to click on administration client settings we need to create a custom client device settings so we need to name it like a remote machine You can name it whatever you want and from here we need to select a remote tool okay 
and then click OK. Right click on this client setting, then choose properties. Click on remote tool in the left side. Click on configure setting. Enable remote control on client computer. Select the domain. OK. User can change or you need to make some changes. So if you want, you can prompt user for permission or transfer client shared. You can make it yes or no. It's totally depend on you. So I'll click on yes. Then full control and manage like a unslowly Slotticated, so click no or you can mention yes yes it's a like your manage remote setting yes so you can make changes as by your requirement allow permit viewer to connect by using remote desktop connection then click on ok so now we have made the custom settings now it's time to deploy the setting okay so again administrative uh, administration select the setting and click on deploy select the collection as we created a collection remote control and we have a one machine in this then click ok so now it's deploying So now there is a way that how we can push this policy manually from on client computer. So now we almost done our SCCM server. So now switch back to our client. So this is our client. If we want to sync the policy, click on start control panel. As I said that uh, configuration manager client should be installed on client computer so click on configuration manager click on action so we need to run this policy machine policy retrieval and evaluation cycle okay so click run now click ok again ok so now is syncing the policy from SCCM server So now again it's time to take a remote session. So let's move this to small window. So we'll see. So this is my client computer. So now I'm going to switch to my SCCM server. Okay. So now it's time to test. Let's see how this works. So click on Asset and Compliance, Device, Windows 10. Select the device start remote control so now it's asking for permission okay so that means our system start working So now you can see that is uh, access denied error okay so again we need to troubleshoot we'll try with the local admin account win 10 
hyphen pc01 slash admin and ok so let's move back to it should work with this uh, domain admin http slash abm http So now you can see that we are able to take a remote because now I used a my admin account so now you can see that uh, we have a notification that you want to approve yes I want to approve so guys in this way we can uh, take a remote from our SCCM server to our client computer but again I'm telling you if you want you can make this settings again as per your requirement so uh, client settings uh, sorry remote machine settings properties okay so from remote tool you can read all these options and uh, select the option which required uh, which is a uh, fulfill your requirement so guys that's all about this video so as I mentioned that uh, what we covered yeah so first we take a remote session and after that we create a device collection then we create a custom device settings then we deploy a client setting on a client computer then we test then we test it and it start working okay so thanks for watching this video have a nice day bye bye